After receiving the letter, Boss Baby knew he needed to act fast in order to save Baby Corp in the formula. Using his managerial experience, Boss Baby remained calm and knew the first step was to formulate an objective to take down the villain. Defeating the villain meant that the Forever Young Potion and Baby Corp would be safe. Taking this objective, Boss Baby could now create a plan to achieve this objective and he gathers his team to share. Each of you have a very important role in this, and together every one of you is going to have to flawlessly execute my plan or it won't work. Got it? Got it. We see Boss Baby using tactical and operational plans. The operational plans translate to strategic plans of taking down the villain, providing specific goals that can be achieved by the team members. Boss Baby then creates the tactical plans, outlining to his team members, sharing exactly how to defeat the villain. The tactical plans allow the team members to have many goals that are needed to achieve the objective. With these plans, Boss Baby uses the functional level of organization, which shows he and his team to carry out the plan. All right, when he arrives to where the formula is stored, we will be there waiting. On my signal, I need Stacy to come out from behind the podium and distract the villain just long enough so that the triplets can trip him up. Are we keeping up so far? Boss Baby tells his team members more about the operational plan. The objective of his planning is to defeat the villain. With his plan put in place, the team members are able to understand their individual roles as part of a whole. <clears throat> After we trip him up, Jimbo will come running as fast as he can and take the person down. Once secured and Jimbo gives me a signal, Tim and I will go in and retrieve the formula, then proceed to unmask the villain. Big Boss Baby tells the team that if they achieve the goal, all the team members will be rewarded with a promotion. This is a great incentive for the team because there are both realistic and commitment goals. The realistic goals allow the team to have a commitment to the goals, which makes the goals more attainable. Creating these achievable goals also allows the team to be more motivated and committed. The more team members that are active in participation means the greater chance of defeating the villain. If this plan works, you and your whole team will get the biggest promotion of all, an unlimited supply of formula. You will never have to leave Baby Co. You can all stay young and help babies continue in the future. Let's get to work. 